investment strategy. Stay invested and hedge against the downside. The sharp equity rally that began in late March saw its momentum stalled time and again in June as concerns over second waves of infections affected investor sentiment. We see the risk of rising COVID-19 infections in U.S. states such as Florida, Texas, and Arizona to be a wild card for markets, and there is still limited clarity. Adding to the list of risks for the market trajectory was also uncertainty related to the U.S. presidential elections, as President Trump's polling numbers continue to slide amidst nationwide protests. Our view is that a Biden win with a Republican Senate and Democrat House would likely be the best scenario for markets over the long term, as we would see a more measured approach from the White House towards the U.S.-China relationship, while Trump's tax cuts are unlikely to be rolled back with a Republican Senate. Following this, the second best outcome for markets would be a Trump win. Finally, a Democrat sweep of the White House and Congress would be the outcome most detrimental to markets, given the likelihood of higher corporate and capital gains taxes. As we enter into the third quarter of 2020, rising odds of a feared democratic sweep might prove to be a stumbling block for the torrid market rally, which has so far been driven by unprecedented stimulus from policymakers and optimism over the post-pandemic economic rebound. Bottom line, we see the risks of equity volatility to be higher than average, considering that valuations have largely priced in the initial phase of the recovery to 2021 and that major risks related to rising infections, the U.S. elections, and U.S.-China geopolitics loom in the backdrop. Incorporating effective hedges into portfolios would serve to potentially guard against equity volatility.